Thank you, Nikki. A complicated case of campaign politics heads to a Duval County courtroom this morning. A judge's decision could affect one of the most high-profile local races of election 2016. A lawsuit challenging one of the candidates in the state attorney's race may impact who can vote for the top prosecutor in Duval, Clay, and Nassau counties. Melanie's joining us now. And Mel, are we expecting a decision today? Well, we'll be there, and we will be watching. Constitutional attorney Rod Sullivan says he really doesn't expect the judge to make his ruling today and expects this to be tough and him to be very thorough. The lawsuit basically says one candidate's entire attempt to run is a sham and claims the current state attorney's campaign manager helped him file his papers to run. It is a strange case with a lot of moving parts and players that's angering a lot of people. Republican state attorney Angela Corey is running for re-election, facing two former employees, Republicans Wesley White and Melissa Nelson. No Democrats were running for the office, which meant all voters in Duval, Clay, and Nassau counties would have been able to vote in the August primary. But then local attorney Republican Kenny Lay filed to run as a write-in candidate, an opposing candidate. This closes the primary to only registered Republicans. That could give Angela Corey an advantage. Many argue that's dirty politics, especially since her campaign manager filed those papers. It's not the first time, and it certainly won't be the last. Local attorney and constitutional law professor Rod Sullivan says, while some have questioned the ethics surrounding Lay's status as a write-in candidate, Sullivan says it is still within the law, and he's seen it happen before. And as long as you abide by the rules, it's very difficult for a court to say that a candidate is a sham candidate or that an election process set up by statutes should be set aside because one side doesn't like the way the other side has maneuvered within the law. Just last week, Channel 4's Jim Pickett spoke with the state attorney. She says the process is fair and voters still have options. My yeah. sister, who's one of my favorite Democrats, even though we fight like cats and dogs sometimes over political issues, she's not being left out. Took her five minutes to go switch to the party to vote in a race she feels, you know, very compelled to vote in. Two local attorneys filed a lawsuit to get Kenny Lay off the ballot. Lay has filed a motion to dismiss that lawsuit, saying it has no merit. Now that motion, as we mentioned, is being heard this morning. We also reached out to Neil Henriksen with the Duval County Democratic Party. And he said, quote, despite our serious efforts to recruit a Democratic candidate, the disenfranchisement of hundreds of thousands of voters by a bogus writing candidate is a serious issue for all voters, regardless of political party. He says he'll be there along with a large group of Democrats at that hearing this morning. It will start at 815. We will have a crew in the courtroom. We'll bring you the latest on newsforjax.com. And also, Bruce, you'll bring it at noon. Back to you guys.